I can't tell you how excited I am to see the arch. It just seeing it appear up over the rock right as you turn the corner, it was just, it was unreal. I, I don't know. I don't know why it was such a big deal to me, but it, it's been really cool to come and see this arch. Good morning, guys. Look at our view this morning. You think any of the horses are out? I saw the horses on the other side this morning. So now I think they're around the other bend. So today is kind of a special day for me. We were here five years ago, and all we really did was drive into the park, park at the trailhead for Delicate Arch, and look at it from two miles away. Ever since then, I've been wanting to come back and do the hike to Delicate Arch, and today, we get to do that hike. I can't wait. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be right up next to the Delicate Arch. It's that iconic arch that is the logo, you could say, for the state of Utah. You see it everywhere on their license plates and everything. It's gonna be so cool. What do you think about this for a breakfast spot? We are literally right on the Colorado River. Got a nice little breakfast buffet. Getting ourselves fueled up for the hike later. What a view to get us going, huh? We got the paddle. Are we ready to go on our hike to Delicate Arch? Yes. Yes, let's do it. I'm excited. Did you hear what our guide said? No. That a family built this cabin. Oh yeah, the cabin, oh yeah. And this is supposed to be the bigger of the two cabins. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. See the one over there? Maybe that, that maybe that was the first one. Oh no. So our incentive to get to Delicate Arch, which is way up there and back, is shaved ice when we get to the city, right? When we get to the town. This actually isn't that bad. No, not yet. Wait till we get on that rock. That's where Miss Diana said it gets really hot, where all those little people are, all those little ants. That's gonna be the fun part. I'm gonna need some water right now. You want some water? All right, grab water. Ah, nice. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Oh, it gets hotter. I don't know if harder, but it definitely gets hot because the sun just beats down on you. Right. This kind of reminds me of like, you know how in the movies, bugs? Yes. Like a bug's life? Uh-huh. It kind of reminds me of all the ants carrying food uh, up the rock. That is true. We do look like little ants going up. It just reminds me because like they're all in a line carrying like a leaf or something. Yeah. Look at us, we're little ants going up to the ant hole, ant hill. <laughs> All right, Aunt, what are, little Aunt, what are you carrying? Uh, a grape. I want to be that guy who gets stuck in a grape. <laughs> All right. Hunter's got the grape. All right, let's be not be silly on the rocks. The which is what we need. Earth's got a grape stuck on him it's like that. Oh, he's all over the place. Stop for a little water break, but look at where we started. See the cars? Way down there. So this is the hardest part because there's no shade. We literally are just getting beaten down by the sun, as you can see. I'm uncooked chicken. <laughs> Hunter says she's uncooked chicken down here. You wanted to know if an egg would cook in Arizona and Utah? There you go. Are you turning it into an egg? A fried egg? Scrambled eggs? We found a little bit of shade. So we're gonna stop for a minute and enjoy the shade and some water. I don't know if you can see Tim and Kelly, but they're way up there with the rest of our group. We're kind of in the middle, middle to back of our group right now. We are taking our time. It's really hot. Very random conversations. 
We talk about the most bizarre things, but you know what? That's what gets you through a hike. <laughs> Kelly's a little nervous because really there, drop straight down. It's a little busy up here, holy moly. But there, that is Delicate Arch right there. Pretty amazing. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but like way down there, that's where we started the hike. Way down here. Whew, that was a long hike. It's about four miles up and back. So went about two miles, but pretty cool. Pretty neat spot. So Kelly's laying down, reading about the rocks. <laughs> Hunter's taking tons of pictures. Can't get over how busy. So this is the line. That like there is the line to get a picture under Delicate Arch. It's pretty busy up here. How busy it is over there. This is definitely a popular hike. I love this, this is beautiful, but for me, I kind of like the more quiet trails. And then when you get to the top, it's more peaceful and quiet. To me, this is more touristy and busy. So you don't really get to enjoy the nature as much because it's more a touristy spot. But still pretty cool. It's a fun hike and you know, definitely walking up on the rock. It was really pretty. So I'm glad we finally did it. And then for Tim, this was on his bucket list. So I'm glad that he finally got to hike it and got up here as well. I know Allison thinks there were too many people here, but I can't tell you how excited I am to see the arch. It just seeing it appear up over the rock right as you turn the corner, it was just, it was unreal. I, I don't know. I don't know why it was such a big deal to me, but it, it's been really cool to come and see this arch. Um, you can check that one off the bucket list now. But even just sitting here, it's just something special about this place. It's, uh, it's really cool. Oh. Hunter, <laughs> you got 23 daily pins. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, congratulations, everyone. Will you want to share them with everybody? Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Originally, I was going to say, oh, I have a first aid kit. Do you need a band aid? <laughs> but that was a little bit of huh? Spoof. She's our actress for there today. There you go. She's sneaky, She's done sneaky. it before. Let me see. Like What's the bin? Nikki. Oh, I like it. We normally have an incentive like ice cream or snow cones to get you through a hike. Today, Kelly has to pee. That's his incentive. There's no bathrooms down here. <laughs> so that's his incentive to hurry back so we can use the bathroom. So we're stopping by the Moab Garage Company to get liquid nitrogen ice cream. They actually use liquid nitrogen to make the ice cream cold. Can't That's really awesome. Like, can't that hurt you? I think they just use the liquid nitrogen to make the cold ice cream cold. Like make it into ice cream. So like you take milk and then you... Right. Cold. Dreaming. We're really tired. We gotta take showers too. Goodbye. Love you all. Keep on dreaming. Bye.